So, next problem, number 206, page 19. The triangular block shown is subjected to the load P is equal to 100 or 1,600 pounds. And force F equal to 600 pounds. If AB, so this is AB, is 8 inches. Okay, so this is 8 inches. And BC is 6. So BC, so meaning this is 6 inches, yung buo. Okay? Resolve each load into components, normal and tangential to AC. So yung AC na to, so dito tayo magsusolve ng normal tsaka tangential components ng force P tsaka force F. To visualize that unknowns, yung, yung tangential forces tsaka normal forces, okay, so pwede natin i-draw yung line of action ng force P tsaka nung force F. So unahin natin yung force P. So consider force P muna. So yung force P, drawing natin yung line of action dito. So assuming ito yung ating AC, so, magdodrawing tayo ng line of action ng force P tapos doon tayo mag-resolve ng components. So, kapag drawing natin yung line of action ng force P dito, so, pwede na tayo mag-resolve ng components dito sa AC. So, ito yung force P. So, yung tangential sa normal, lagyan na natin. So, ito yung normal. So, normal ito ay 90. And then, yung tangential... So, dito naman tayo maglalagay ng tangential force. So, kapag nagdo-drawing tayo ng force, laging may napo-form na parallelogram or yung square or rectangle. Okay? So, ito yung mga isosolve natin. Yung force, so, so sabihin natin ito yung P sub tangential. Then, ito yung P sub and or yung normal force. So, this is equal to 1,600 pounds. So, isa pa lang given dito ay yung theta. Although walang value, pwede natin isolve. Okay? So, gamit yung dalawang given na sides, yung h at 6. So, using your tangent, so tangent theta is equal to 8 over 6. So, from that, we can solve theta which is equal to arc tangent of 8 over 6. So, that is equal to 53.13 degrees. Okay. So, bali ito yung ating force P. So, pag drinawing natin yung line of action niya hanggang dito sa AC, ito na ngayon yung uh, force P natin. So, pwede natin siyang i-resolve dito sa point na to. Take note, ito yung AC. Okay. So, ito yung mga required. So, ang required dyan ay yung P sub T para sa tangential, then P sub N para sa normal. And then, F sub T para sa normal, ay tangential ng force F, and then F sub N para sa normal force. Okay, so, nahin natin yung force P. Then, yung angle natin dito ay 53.13. So, therefore, ito, 53.13 din. Okay, so, theta rin to. Okay, so, from that, we can now solve for the unknown. Okay, so, solving for P sub T, Okay, so, adjacent lang ng angle. So, ang gagamitin natin ay cosine. So, P sub T is equal to 1,600 pounds multiplied by cosine of 53.13. Ayan yung slope. Kanina, na sinasabi ko. Okay. Pwede nyo isolve yun or gamitin dito. Kasi yung cosine theta and cosine theta gamit yung slope triangle. So, theta rin to is 3 over 5. And so, pwedeng ipalit itong cosine theta na 3 over 5 dito. Okay? So, 3 over 5. Pwede rin. So, that is equal to 960 pounds. So, next unknown for P sub N. So, P sub N is equal to 1,600 pounds multiplied by so dito naman ito yung P sub N natin alam natin yan okay, so yung magnitude nya dito sa broken line dito yung free vector pareho lang so pwede natin gamitin yung sine theta so multiplied by sine of 53.13 degrees or pwede rin yung palitan yan ng yung sine theta 
So, yung sin theta dyan ay equal to 4 over 5. So, pwede yung ipalit yung 4 over 5 dito. Okay, so this is equal to... So, this is approximately 1,280. So, again, we can draw AC. And then, yung line of action ng force P or force F. And then, mag-drawing tayo na force dun sa line of action na yun. So, assuming... Uh, ito na yung ating uh, force F. Uh, 600 pounds. Okay. So, again, yung normal force. Uh, assume na natin ito. So, F sub N. Then, yung F sub T or yung tangential force. Dito naman. So, F sub T. So, ito yung mga free vectors. Okay. So, again, take note na yung angle with the vertical, yung theta, nandito. So, theta. So, ito yung 53.13. Ngayon, ang tanong dyan ay, ano ba yung angle ngayon dito? Sa pagitan ng FT, tsaka yung force F. Okay. So, since dito sa given, uh, triangle yan. So, kung triangle yan, ito ay theta. Meron tayong force F dito. And so, therefore, yung angle of inclination niya with respect dun sa AC, yun ay 90 minus theta. So, ito ngayon ay 90 minus theta. So, para ma-visualize natin, lagyan natin dito yung uh, theta. So, ayan. Theta, theta. So, oh, pwede nyo rin actually isolve yung angle dito pag minus nyo yung oh, ito, 90. Alam natin, vertical sa horizontal, 90 to. So, 180 minus 90 minus theta. O, oh, yun yung angle dito. Or kahit ganito na lang, 90 minus theta. So, pwede natin itong solve. So, 90 minus yung 53.13. So, let us solve first for F sub T. So, adjacent na yung 90 minus theta. So, gagamitin natin yung cosine. So, F sub T is equal to 600 pounds. Yung F multiplied by cosine of 90 minus 53.13 Kung gusto nyo naman gamitin yung angle dito yung theta rin syempre theta rin to okay lang din So ang sagot dito ay ayan, 479.999 or approximately 480 pounds okay? So yung ito yung F sub T Then last for for f sub n okay so f sub n so that is equal to so pwedeng cosine ng theta or sine nito cosine of theta or yung 53.13 or pwede ring sine ng 90 minus 53 0.13 So, equal lang tong dalawang to So, this is equal to 360 pounds So, let us proceed to the next problems So, the body on the 30 degrees inclined shown in the figure below is acted upon by a force P So, ito yun, yung force P inclined at 20 degrees with the horizontal So, ito yung horizontal ito yung 20 degrees if P is resolved into components parallel and perpendicular to the inclined and the value of the parallel components is 400 pounds. So, meron tong vertical or parallel tsaka perpendicular components dito sa inclined. So, yung parallel components, <coughs> so ito yun, 400 pounds to. So, ibig sabihin ito yung perpendicular. So, ito yung 400 pounds. Okay. So, pwede rin kayo mag-resolve dito sa taas. Ayan. So, pwede rin dito yung parallel. 
Okay, pwede rin nating drawing yung line of action dito tapos dito tayo mag resolve. So pwede rin ganun yung figure. Okay, so ito yung parallel 400 equal lang sa magnitude dito. So 400 to. Okay, and then next, compute the value of the perpendicular components and that of P. So ang hanapin natin dito yung P tsaka yung perpendicular components naman dito sa inclined. Okay, so yung P sub P dito sa answer na nandito, ito yung perpendicular. So ito yung P sub P. So ang required ay yung force P tsaka yung parallel or yung perpendicular components. So solution, before we can solve the unknown, we need to identify yung mga angle of inclinations. So ang given kasi dito yung force P na with respect to horizontal 20 Okay, tapos ito, inclined na to ay 30. So, pwede natin i-analyze yung mga angle dito sa loob. So, mas maganda kung magdodrawing tayo ng uh, normal line. So, take note, ito ay 30. So, ito ngayon 90. Ito 60. So, pag uh, ganito yan. So, ito yung 30. So, ito yung 90. Then, yung horizontal line na may 20. So, pwede natin ilagay dito. Ito yung force P. So, ito ay 20 degrees. So, dito ngayon, kung mapapansin natin. Okay. So, ito ay horizontal line din. So, therefore, ito ay 30. Okay. So, parallel lines to. So, alam natin yung parallel lines, cut by transversal. So, yung angle dito ay pareho. So, same concept dito. Ito, tsaka yung nandito. Pareho lang. Okay? So, therefore, yung angle of inclination ng force P with respect dito sa inclined ay 50. So, 50 degrees. So, kung ito ay 50, so, therefore, ito ay 40. So, 50, 40. Kasi yung buong ito ay 90. So, pwede na natin gamitin ngayon yung mga angles na to para ma-solve yung P tsaka yung P sub P, yung perpendicular. Kung isusolve natin yung P sub P, ito yon Ito yung P sub P. So, pero take note, yung side na to ay P sub P din. Yan, P sub P din yan. So, pag ginamit natin yung 40, adjacent siya. So, cosine. Pagka dito naman, so, opposite siya nung 50. So, sign ang gagamitin pag ganun. So, pag nag-analyze kayo ng mga figure, tapos walang given dimensions yung object, pwede nyo i-consider na point size lang siya. Okay? So, para hindi kayo nalilito dun sa mga angle of inclination. So, parang ganito. Yan. Kinonsider ko lang na point size yung object or yung body. Okay? So, meron na tayong mga angle. Solution for P sub P. Kung gusto nating unahin yung force P, pwede rin naman sine. Okay? Kasi ang given natin dyan yung side nga tsaka yung unknown ay hypotenuse. Okay? So, maalin ang unahin pwede. So, unahin natin yung P sub P. So, P sub P is equal to 400 over tangent of 40. Kasi from tangent, tangent 40 is equal to 400 over P sub P. So, masasolve nyo yung P sub P dito. So, i-transpose nyo lang. So, P sub P is equal to 400 over tangent 40. So, that is equal to 476.7 pounds. Okay. So, in the next. So, we can also use Pythagorean theorem to solve for force P. So, force P pwedeng square root ng yung P sub P square plus yung 400 square. Pwede rin to. Or, gagamit tayo ng sine. Pwede rin cosine. So, tatlo yung pwede. Okay? So, para maiba, try natin to. Okay? For force P. So, ang P dyan ay is equal to square root of yung P sub P ito. 476.7 Square plus yung 400. So, ang sagot dyan ay 622.29 pounds. So, that's all for this video. 
So you can open the video description for the next topic.